in times that we discussed divines from bosses, we have to understand Wells criteria as well and how to apply them. As Wells criteria are uh, predictive or could be predictive of divines from bosses or DVT. And here we have a table with many conditions and every of them can uh, count for one point. Let uh, read every of these conditions as they are important and of value, of course. Active cancer patient is a receiving treatment for cancer within the previous six months or currently receiving palliative treatment. So patient with active cancer receive one point. Paralysis, paresis or recent cast immobilization of the lower extremities. Immobilization of the lower extremities by different uh, causes uh, value one point. Recently bed ridden for more than three days or major surgery within the previous 12 weeks requiring general or regional anesthesia values one point. So bedridden for more than three days value one point. Localize the tenderness along the distribution of the deep venous system one point as well. Entire leg swelling one point. Calf uh, swelling at least three centimeters larger than that. On the asymptomatic side, measure 10 centimeters uh, below tibial tuberosity. When one leg is uh, swelled, we have to compare this with another one which is asymptomatic and this is like uh, comparing side. One point. Pitting edema confined to the symptomatic leg, one point. Collateral superficial veins, non varicose one, one point, and previously documented deep veins thrombosis, one point. Alternative diagnosis, at least as likely as deep veins thrombosis, minus two points. Okay, we have these conditions, and if patient have one, two, or more of them, or none, we decide to go to this table. A well score of less than one in the trauma population can reliably rule out DVT. And of course, uh, avoid a further workup or follow-up of the patient. As the well score increases, the risk of DVT increases as well, linearly, and with it, establishing it as a valid pretest tool for risk stratification. Patients sustaining traumatic injuries can be stratified using this uh, well score into low, moderate or high probability of TVT. And you see a trauma patient and pretest probability of DVT by scoring, for example, less than one, one, two points and more than two. And they have to be from this list, of course, and not other conditions added. Less than one point, low probability, reevaluate in 24 hours. One to two points, moderate probability and more than two, high probability. To rule out, you have to uh, have to do ultrasound of the veins, deep veins of the legs. And if it is positive, you have to administer a thromboprophylaxis. And if it is negative, you have to reevaluate patient in 24 hours. So firstly, you do ultrasound if this is susceptible and have at least one point in well score you do ultrasound and uh, if it is positive you do thromboprophylaxis thank you very much and have a good time guys